final race I'm bringing you here on day two from Exeter. It's a two mile, one furlong, Devon Novices Chase. Argira D. Thompson, The Ninja for Joshua Sutherland, Ali Savannah for Craig Allen, Gales Cavalier for John Morgan, Alice in Wonderland, Ryan Tamasebi, Jemima Ville Camera, Alex Cherry, Large Septier, Jim Murray, Port Elizabeth for Paul Rhodes, and Red Flag Day for Leon Van Rensburg completes the lineup, and the starter lets them go here at Exeter, and at least the rain stopped and the sunshine starting to come out, uh, but still very heavy ground for these horses to contend with. And the Ninja and Argira both very impressive winners. Good winners on week one for Joshua Sutherland and Darren Thompson, respectively. Can they follow up and make it two from two at this novice chase as we pass the stands there? And it is. Uh, it's not one of last week's winners set in the early pace, but rather it's large septier for Jim Murray, who's racing about a length in front of Gales Cavalier, who's a newcomer today. Interesting to see how that one fares as they jump the water ditch. Alice in Wonderland's back in third ahead of one of, uh, well, ahead of both of last week's winners, Argira and the Ninja, as they jump the next flight all over it safely. But red flag day, probably not as quick as Leon Van Rensburg would have liked his horse to be over that fence as they come towards the next. And a pretty good jump from all of them, a better jump from red flag day at the back there. And you can see the other back marker is Port Elizabeth, the grey horse for Paul Rhodes that's racing nearer to the rail. So after four flights, it's still large Septier in the lead. Good length and a half, maybe two lengths now to Gales Cavalier as they start swinging right-handed and going uphill. The Ninja taking the shortest route round today for Joshua Sutherland on the rail. The black and red hoops just on the outside of that one's Ali Savannah for Craig Allen. And it's just shy of a length back to Alice in Wonderland and Argira. And that leaves Jemima Vale, Camera, Port Elizabeth and Red Flag Day completing the runners as at the rear of the field at the moment. And as you can see, there's this steep hill that they climb here in, at Exeter before coming to the next flight. That's really going to sap the energy out of these horses on this bottomless ground today. So Large Septier travelling powerfully still up front and setting a decent pace and still maintains that two length advantage over Gales Cavalier and a decent length, uh, decent few lengths back then to the Ninja Ali Savannah and Alice in Wonderland who are racing in midfield as they go over that flight there Ali Savannah put a mistake in there for Craig Allen and that allowed Alice in Wonderland and Jemima, Jemima Ville Camera to move past that one and Ali Savannah is now towards the rear of the field good jump there in the middle of the field for Alice in Wonderland and that one's moved up alongside the Ninja for a share of third place as they come over the next flight and up front you can see that Giant Gales Cavalier, Gales Cavalier, sorry, has started to move up to go alongside Jim Murray's horse as they go over the next flight. Really good jump back in third there from the Ninja was definitely more fluent than Alice in Wonderland who's been pushed along on the outside of that one. So we're starting to approach the five furlong pole. We're almost there and Large Septier is now being scrubbed along by the jockey to start putting a lot of these under pressure and you can see that Red Flag Day is no longer on your screen. So Jim Murray's horse has done a really good job of piling the pressure onto these horses here at Exeter on this heavy ground and he still has a decent advantage over Gales Cavalier a few lengths back to the Ninja Jockey sitting motionless on Alice in Wonderland but I, I think the jockey needs to get harder to work just like the one on Ali Savannah and they're trying to make progress and eat into this lead but the lead is widening it's not shortening Large Septier is really trying to put them to the sword here at Exeter with this front running masterclass from Jim Murray so far and the better jumps there came from the Ninja Ali Savannah and Gales Cavalier and that's going to allow them to close a really good jump from Gales Cavalier there and it's now moving up alongside Jim Murray's horse. Jim Murray's not confident his front runners have been able to hold them off and see all of the trips out and as you can see Gales Cavalier has now taken into the lead. Alice in Wonderland's really staying on now past Ali Savannah and past the Ninja as well as they come over the next flight but Gales Cavalier's stolen a march as we come towards the line. Gales Cavalier easing down, looking over the left shoulder, wins it very cosily indeed. Alice in Wonderland got going far too late far too late for my stable I'm going to have a word with that jockey and I think Ali Savannah in the Ninja fought it out for third so Jim Murray's theory about his front runners is probably going to remain intact there he's not going to be happy with the way that one was just swallowed alive there by Gales Cavalier wins it at 9-1 to one. Alice in Wonderland back in second for my stable there at 14-1 to one. Uh, that one stayed on really powerfully in the final stages, as did, as did Ali Savannah, but they left it too late and allowed John Morgan to steal the race. Really good performance from his grey horse, Gales Cavalier. The Ninja was back in fourth, large Septier weakened into fifth.